So these two are fighting to move on from seventh place. That was weird wording, but hopefully you get what I meant. <laughs> yeah. I have to get some really aggressive comboing from Frigo. Her recovery is pretty locked. There it is. Ooh. Oh, okay, that tippered. Yeah, that, that move does have a habit of tippering. Oop, F strong. That was some unfortunate DI. It's still ledge guarding. So Ooh, women. we'll make it back though. Yeah, honestly, like, there isn't much more you really need to do to Rano aside from down tilt right there. But obviously, you can do more, but usually that's enough. Ruben. Oh, Excalibur said, yeah, that's yeah. unfortunate. Already down two socks. Oh, yeah. I think Excalibur is getting really wigged out right here, especially with how far behind he is. Like, at least so far in this game, I feel like Trigomaniac could actually stand to use Tongue a lot more. Like, I think I've only seen it, like, maybe once or twice. Um, and the one time I saw it, it was, like, pretty delayed. There have been a lot of times where he's just, like, opted to charge needles or even just throw a single needle where he definitely could have tongued instead uh, and gotten a lot more payoff for it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you do just kind of got to go for it. Yeah. Like, a lot of the times, like, if you're catching a landing, there's no real reason not to if you know it'll be within range. Like, right there. It's kind of a safety thing. It's like, if you miss time, you could get a really big punish. Well, yeah. Like, I'm just, like, saying there, like, a lot of times where it's, like, he catches a landing with something that still works, like, Needle's still good. Um, but I think he could maybe stand to be... Ooh! A little more aggressive with the side B usage. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta be like that, I guess. <laughs> but hey, you know, he's doing right now. Someone so... taught everyone that you can avoid Claren down air by crouching. <laughs> and <laughs> I've noticed more and more people actually using that knowledge. Yeah, I think I've actually seen like high level players not know that until recently, which always surprises me. That's funny. I mean, like, on some characters, it looks like it should definitely still hit, because a lot of well, the crouch Shovel animations in this game work, are yeah. really bad. Shovel Knight doesn't work, but yeah, no, you're totally right. Yeah. I've seen some, like, scuffed ones with Raster against, like, mostly against Sylv, of course it was Sylv. Yeah. Um, but yeah, speaking of crouching, uh, Claire and Dare can't do that anymore. Does it not work on this stage? I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on Treetop and Spirit Tree. Well, Treetop left flat. Yeah, Spirit Tree I knew, because those are low, but I did not know it didn't um, work on this Yeah, one. Samsung. Like, every, I think everyone except for Shovel Knight can crouch Claire and Dare on like, average height or higher platforms. Oh, you can't crouch on here? I didn't think you could. Yeah, that surprised me. Like, I think this platform's not wide. Uh, I'll have to look at it later. Definitely doesn't look like a stage where it'd be possible, at least to me. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this game that doesn't- Ooh, good tech there. That yeah. doesn't look like it should be possible, but it still is. That's fair. Oh, tries to go for an F-strong call-out. Ooh, not great DI there. Yeah. Oop, side B. Goes for the fair. I definitely would've gone for a grab right there. Um and try to like chain grab for go and get him off stage. That's not certainly not the only option, but it's probably one of the safest ones. Uh. This one just haven't been too bad from Excalibur so far. That's Ooh. always the worst feeling. Oh, the bubble. the bubble. Let's go. Yeah. Yep. 
I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but I was so surprised I tempered. He's going way up. And then not as up because we're on your speed. Yeah. Single needle with punish. Ooh, no tipper there. Still getting small combo off of it though. There's oh, there we go. Yeah. Galaxy two and looking like a much more even game here. Ooh, not quite within range to attack that. And oh no. No, he got his double jump back. Yeah, got he it. touched the stage. Oh. Ooh. Solid spacing right there. Just gonna whack him. That's Rano recovery. Once again, we are 1 1. We're going to Rock Wall. Finally, we got some Rock Wall. Let's go. Alright. There we go. Oh my god, my I'm surprised that Virgo didn't just like try to fastball there right there. Something. Good parry there. Yeah, also pretty good spacing on the down strong. Definitely not what I would have gone for, but I'm still landing it. Oh no. Yeah, it didn't I didn't see very much drift. I saw a tiny bit of drifting out, but it wasn't nearly enough. You have to be careful with Claren because of how high her or rather how low her air friction is. But that's something to keep in mind, because when you step effectively, you're gonna escape up. You're gonna slip out of a lot of combos. Excalibur's playing really grounded right now. Um, and the platforms on the stage on this stage are just in pretty good spots to plot boost between them. You can like cover that space pretty effectively, and you've gotta remember, right? You don't need to actually act out of your flat boost. Like you can literally use it to just cover ground quickly, um, and then try to bait out a defensive option, which you can then punish because Claren has a lot of good ways to punish defensive options. <laughs> Did you see that? Haha! Uh, what was I supposed to see? Like in her box extension through the platform. Um. I think like uh, Frigo tried to up strong and got hit by Clarence side beyond plot. It'd be like that. Good delay right there. I don't actually know. I feel like he might have been a little too high to like reliably hit down strong, but if you're too high for down strong, I I don't know, I still feel like grab is fairly solid as a backup. But Good weight there on the platform. Void mm -hmm. in the up strong. Oh yeah. This is a good lead for Excalibur right now. That's gonna be Tongue. Ooh. And the hard call out. I like it. Now Excalibur one game away from knocking out Frigamaniac. Going too far, so I think this is a really good stage for both characters. Already putting on some pressure here. Yeah, it's kind of stuck off stage. It's not where you want to be as Rano. No, definitely not. Oh my god. He keeps going. Oh, that's it. Yep. That's rough. 
That's a great start there for Excalibur. That was a zero to death, too. It was. Yeah, there is. Gotta make something big happen right here. He wants to bring this back. Decent job there. Going off stage. Yeah, I guess it kind of works. Wow. <laughs> Such a good read. Yeah, that was a massive call out. Oh, and here come the down tilts. That always hurts to get hit by. And I think, I think Fergus has been playing too close to Excalibur because. Cal barely has to actually move to hit any of these jabs or anything. And like in most matchups, jabs fairly safe. Yeah. Um. Bad tapered. Oh no. Well, uh, and that was unnecessary. You didn't need to do that. Yeah, that, there was a lot of risk there. Although I kind of understand me just freaking out a little bit, but you do want to be on the lookout for that because that was almost really bad. <laughs> 